ain't never been a weak Jew. Uh, I ain't never, ever, ever been a weak Jew. I ain't never been. I ain't never been a weak Jew. Uh, I ain't never, ever, ever been a weak Jew. Nah, not me. I ain't never been a weak Jew. Uh, I ain't never, ever, ever been a weak Jew. I ain't never been. I ain't never been a weak Jew. Cause I walk in the spirit of a Hebrew. Uh, I ain't never been a weak Jew. Uh, I ain't never, ever, ever been a weak Jew. I ain't never been. I ain't never been a weak Jew. Uh, I ain't never, ever, ever been a weak Jew. Nah, not me. I ain't never been a weak Jew. Nah. I ain't never, ever, ever been a weak Jew. I ain't never been. I ain't never been a weak Jew. Cause I walk in the spirit of a Hebrew. Uh. Don't trip. Got scripts. True prophets keep the laws with their lips. Uh, Never been a weenie, cut my daddy's blood thick. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yeah, yeah I'm on swole because my path stay lit. Eyes on the prize, call it kingdom focus. Letting go of more the thoughts because these emotions get you ripped. I ain't holding on to nothing. This my job to represent. I ain't never been the one to run from a battle. Prophets of the Lord, we get active. Come against the camp, yeah, you demons like the tag So you hear that eyes up, stand strong and get at you. Must have lost your mind, try to stand against me. Servant of Yahweh, yeah, our power and the king. Seek of the kingdom and the need of better things. Don't worry about me, cause in Christ I ain't weak and I'll never be. I ain't never been a weak Jew. I ain't never, ever, ever been a weak Jew. I ain't never been. I ain't never been a weak Jew. I ain't never, ever, ever been a weak Jew. I'll not be. I ain't never been a weak Jew. I ain't never, ever, ever been a weak Jew. I ain't never been. I ain't never been a weak Jew. Cause I walk in the spirit of a Hebrew. Uh. I be proper sign. Bringing out some scriptures on the preachers that be lying. Never been weak, always been aligned. Got the heart of a disciple with the boots of a giant. I, I ain't never been weak or sweet. Teaching in the streets in the belly of the beast. Teeth white like milk, skin dark like me. You should have known that Christ was the king. Light shining like bling. When you hear that church bell ring, your pastor getting ties like money ain't a thing. He teach smooth words, words soft like mink. Eat a lot of swine so you know his breath stink. Uh, I people Walking up strong with them demons on. I pull a scripture, cut a Christian to them demons gone. East out the devil, ain't nothing we agree upon. I ain't never been weak, I'ma stand strong. I ain't never been a weak Jew. I ain't never, ever, ever been a weak Jew. I ain't never been. I ain't never been a weak Jew. I ain't never, ever, ever been a weak Jew. I'll not be. I ain't never been a weak Jew. I ain't never, ever, ever been a weak Jew. I ain't never been. I ain't never been a weak Jew. Cause I walk in the spirit of a Hebrew. Ah. I ain't never been. I ain't an Israelite because of the color of my skin. Uh, yeah, them prophets back, we done rose up again. Here to set the record straight for them dudes who pretend high, who pretend high. Yeah, they think they holy. Ask them for a scripture in the Bible, they can't show me. But they be the first ones talking about Christ and kept a law in their life. Yeah, them dudes that they phony, huh? Uh, yeah, the laws we teach. What? Don't be confused by the way that we speak. Uh, yeah, the most high sent his words to the meek. Nehemiah 13, see them dudes think we weak, huh? They we weak in these streets, I ain't never been. Waiting on the kingdom that will never end. Yeah, the most I gon' break us to their promised land. And end all that suffering. I, I ain't never been a weak Jew. Uh, I ain't never, ever, ever been a weak Jew. I ain't never been. I ain't never been a weak Jew. Uh, I ain't never, ever, ever been a weak Jew. Y'all not me. I ain't never been a weak Jew. Uh, I ain't never, ever, ever been a weak Jew. I ain't never been. I ain't never been a weak Jew. Cause I walk in the spirit of a Hebrew. Uh, I ain't never been a weak Jew. I ain't never ever ever been a weak Jew. I ain't never been. I ain't never been a weak Jew. I ain't never ever ever been a weak Jew. Y'all not me. I ain't never been a weak Jew. I ain't never ever ever been a weak Jew. I ain't never been. I ain't never been a weak Jew. Cause I walk in the spirit of a Hebrew. Ah. The most I God is in the Certain tracks you hear to make you just make you just the bone. Just go to it. This is one of those. Plus, me, me thinking about Israel, man. Help me put this on a little bit. I'm trying to grab a certain kind of ears to the, on this track, though.
Yeah. How many guns do it take to kill a whole nation? I can tell you lacking wisdom by your conversation. I used to be a selfish nigga, now I'm about my nation. Put my life on the line to get you out the matrix. A pocket full of money don't mean a thing if your mind stays still the same. I said a pocket full of money don't mean a thing, mean a thing if your mind ain't gonna never change. Nah. Yeah, so peep this game that I'm giving you The colonizers got that bird's eye when they watching you Church lies, television, music influence you Impress a white Jesus in your face when they killing you Damn, I try to tell them in here, but only few gon' listen I never wrote the story, I'm just trying to paint the vision Since I step behind that veil, I see a little clearer That it's a war out here, yeah It's a war out here, so let me put you on game Let me put you on game, let's go It's a war out here It's a war out here, so let me put you on game. Let me put you on game. Yeah. It's a war out here, so let me put you on game. Put you on game. Before I hit them streets, I nail my head towards the east. It's war time, spare not is how we teach. Grab my sword, this fight ain't for the weak. Being cursed the whole time, that's our track record. Our track. Getting hung to burst the east line, that's, that's that black press. We teach God laws on the block where there's no love in it. Kids eating out of cereal boxes with the bugs in it. Present bottom nation, but ain't our destination. God pressed the number 12, now Israel elevating. Once was a Titus 3 and 3, just like the apostles. Like the Putting apostles. the paint where it ain't, call it spiritual Picasso. Spiritual we on a, another cloud, over we'll his heads when we come around. Fake Christians are watered down, 12 my favorite number now. By yeah. cricket cops like Lot's wife, prophets are getting assaulted. Was a selfish Nigga sleeping and that's a cut, Lorena Bobby. It's a war out here, so let me put you on game. Let me put you on game. Let's go. It's a war out here, so let me put you on game. Let me put you on game. Yeah. It's a war out here, so let me put you on game. Let me put you on game. It's a war out here, so let me put you on game. Let me put you on game. When I'm up in these streets, I lay Luya, I say I lay Luya. Got them angels all around us, and you can't do nothing to us. Patiently wait on the Lord to come to us. Like swing low, sweet chariot, take me home. Look up in the sky, see the most high on his throne. While the world looking stupid, Chuck and Deuce Shalom. All praises to the most high. I say hallelujah, I say hallelujah, I say hallelujah. Christ died for me, so I'm born right. I say hallelujah, I say hallelujah, I say hallelujah. You can tell by the look in my eyes. I say hallelujah, I say hallelujah, I say hallelujah. I'm gonna praise him till the day that I die. I say hallelujah, I say hallelujah, I say hallelujah. Hallelujah, don't let them fool you See these nations got us twisted up in they confusion Delusion of my people is they believe nothing is they work Not You're listening to In The Scripts Reloaded I don't know if I'm loud, check, check All right, Most High in Christ, bless Israel uh, Another episode of In The Script Reloaded We got a full... House tonight, we got Officer Liam, Officer Yahalom, Officer, oh, oh, Officer, I'm sorry, 
Lemuel. I called him Liam. I'm thinking about that rap song yeah. the brother did. It's still in my mind. Damn. Right, right. Officer Lemuel, Officer Yahalom, Officer Yakub, and Officer Shema. All right. So all praises to the Most High. It's been a, it's been a good week thus far. Absolutely. Just came back from the men's conference. Everybody was in unity and one spirit, getting their minds right. For those of you brothers who could not make it, you missed out. And no, you are not getting a recording. You ain't getting a recording. You should have been there. Right. You should have been there. All right. I heard some crazy excuses of why brothers ain't show up. But I'm going to leave that alone. All right. Hey, let's show that video, man. Let's show that video. Let's start off on a good note. Let's show that video, please. So this thing is bad. Put me, they put you know how many times I watched this video, man? Yeah. And all the other videos? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And hey, make that thing bigger. Make that thing bigger, man. Bring it out! Yeah, it was nice, man. It was beautiful. And everybody up here went to the men's conference, oh, right? No doubt. Did y'all yes, go to the men's conference? No. Uh, AV team, AV y'all team? went? All right. Did oh, you yeah, go yeah. to the men's conference? No, you did not. Ah, oh, you missed out, man. You missed out. Oh. Right. <laughs> go back. All right, let's go. Play that joint. Oh, yeah. This nigga sweet. Ooh, we're going to add a sea of purple. We are gods, we See are purple. kings, we march in faith, cause we believe That's Zamar. we can. That's Zamar. That's Zamar. I, I see Dallas Straight on. Straight out of That's Dallas. Right. All praise. Change the world to what it needs, stand against our enemies, cause we can. The bridge is flowing in the wind, baby. Man, I think it's yeah. bad. Nation building. Woo! Hey, 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 take that back a few seconds. Take that back a few seconds, man. Man, Whoa. that thing was on point. Whoa. That thing was on point. Whoa. Hey, that thing was on oh, point, was man. Yeah. Bam! That's what they hate. That's what they hate. Unity, order, discipline. Mm -hmm. This is what the nations hate. Go ahead. Come on. Captain Shem was in his spirit. Oh, oh yes, sir. It's good to see Captain Shem. Gods, we are kings, demanding change, cause we believe we can. That's beautiful right there, man. That's a beautiful song. Wow, and yes, we can. Wow. That's yes, right. we can. That's and right. And the, the That's song right. is so the, the the lyrics are so befitting mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. you know for for you know for those particular cuts, man. We gods, we kings, we stand against our enemies, right. man. Please, that yeah. was beautiful. Show me the next one. Go into go to the no 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 not um go it's back a, to IUIC event. I want to see all of them. There's one at the oh, bottom. Crazy. Where if they uh, yeah if they go back. Yeah, play that, yeah, one. that one. Right there, yeah. I want to see every single last one that they made, man. This thing is inspirational. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, the track on this one. This is inspirational right here. Man, I get back to work, Cap. You ought to see all the people like, man, I saw y'all. They're excited about it, man. Really? Right. Oh, yeah. Got a couple phone calls, too. Damn. All praises. See, that was the hey, Where the music at? What? Right, what's going on? Yeah, so. Right, you got to have them. Definitely inspiration. Definitely inspiration. No music on this one? Okay, here we go. Here we go. This right here. This make you want to stomp. Right. Stomp somebody's head in. Yeah. Uh. I ain't never back no retreat. Nah. Always surviving the heat. Yeah. You shoot me down in the street. Hold up. Hey man, hey, that's Ja Lil right there coming out of New York. Shout out to that brother. That's the incredible Hulk of editing. Ja Lil is the incredible Hulk of editing. All right, come on. Got all my brothers with me. Yeah, I know you smelling the fit. I know you smelling the fit. You gonna be kissing my fit. Damn right. All of my brothers gonna eat. What we gonna do? 
All of my brothers are lit. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah I be facing that kid. That's what they ate. Yeah. Look how we hit that Look at it. Barnabas. Barnabas. I just pull up for the rent. Uh huh. Yeah. We the landlords, no baby. Nah. You get no chance to hey, we are the I landlords. We are the landlords of this planet Earth. That's right. That's right. The brother said, I just pull up for the rent. Esau, your rent is overdue. That's right. Ishmael, Moab, Ammon, Elam, Ham, your rent is due. That's right. Give me the next one. Come on. Give me some more. We're going to play all of it. And we know we got some haters online, but the most I got you stuck to your computer right now. That's right. As always, just stuck. Can't move. They lucky they wasn't in the way when we was hitting that corner, man. They would have got smashed. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's beautiful, man. A lot of people, man. A lot of people watching this, man. A lot of people sharing it, so it's great, man. Just getting out there. It's a beautiful thing. Hey, press pause one second. And you know what's crazy? You had people that are without non-believers talking about what was the purpose. Hmm. The purpose was to inspire. That's right. Look how many people uh, we inspired. Exactly. The phone calls that we're receiving. Exactly. Okay, this we had brothers on the side crying. How yeah. can I join y'all? Right. The Man. purpose is to inspire. We weren't marching because we were trying to get um, Esau to help us out, like we were crying for crumbs. Yeah, the hell not. with Esau. Exactly. We were marching to inspire the youth, to inspire the GDs, the BDs, That's it. the vice lords right. over there in Chicago. Look, put down the guns. Right. Stop fighting over blocks, old right. block, Englewood, all these different blocks y'all fighting over. Right. Meanwhile, right. You, don't owe, you don't owe a damn thing. Right. The Most High said he gave you the whole planet Earth, right. and here you are fighting right. over a block. Right. Right. That was the purpose. Man. But to the Negro, to the sick to the mentally ill Negro of America, they're going to say, oh, what was the purpose of that? Mm -hmm. Simple as hell. Simple. Well, he's about to tell you the purpose. Bring it back a little. Bring, bring it, it back a bring little. Bring it back. Go ahead. Come on. And guess what? Right. One day we are going to do it all over the world. world. That's right. This is a world tour of Israelites, of Israel united in Christ. Go ahead. Come on. One mind. You heard that? One mind. One spirit. One mind. One spirit. Yeah. No limit. I see more and more men are becoming too imbalanced and leaning too damn far to their emotional side. We've been down for a long time. Had a small disagreement, and now you burning bridges because of pride. Anywhere you go, that stigma gonna follow you. These are character flaws and attributes you can't hide. Mark the one that's always starting problems with people. They really evil. They just came to deceive you into the fight. Even Popo, even Popo was like, I gotta get that. Even Popo was saying that, man. All of the toxins. Can't poison a movement. It's not an option. Oh, wait, press pause, press pause. What did he say? He it said, you can't poison the movement. Yeah. It's not, not, an, an, option. not an option. So what are you doing, brothers and sisters who are sitting on a sideline hating? You brothers and sisters who are watching this show right now and, and probably giving me the middle finger. Uh -huh. It says, you cannot poison the movement. It's not an not option. option. So what you're doing is you're kicking against the pricks. That's right. You got a better chance hitting the lotto twice. Wow. You got a better chance getting hit by lightning ten times. <laughs> In one day, that's hard. Then you got to stop this truth. That's right. You're not going right? to be able the to Mosai, do it. The Most High is going to resurrect the nation of Israel right <laughs> before your sorry, pathetic eyes. That's, ain't going to be a right. damn thing you could do about it. Both men and women. Okay. Give me Isaiah forty-nine verse six real quick. Give me Isaiah forty-nine verse six. Anybody want to call in? Please call in the show two one four two seven two zero four zero zero. To the believers and to the non-believers, to the haters and to the lovers, please call in 214-272-0400. Give me Isaiah 49, verse 6 real quick. Read the book of Isaiah, 
chapter 49 and verse 6. And he said, it is a light thing. It is a light thing. Meaning light work. Easy money. That thou sh- Whoa, hold, hold on. What is it? Hard work is no work, but but hard work is always easy work. I came up with that, actually. Right. Okay. So y'all coined that. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Read it again. Right, read right, it again. Right. Come on. And he said, it is a light thing uh-huh. that thou shouldest be my servant uh-huh. to raise up the 12 tribes of Jacob. So all these brothers you see on this screen being, um, first and foremost, shout outs to the bishop, Bishop Nathaniel. Started Praise. Israel Uniting Christ in 2003. The Most High has used this man's spirit to do what he's doing now. Mm-hmm. And these are the fruits of his labor. Yep, the Most High has woken up his servants to put boots on the ground where most people won't go. Hey, you had a congregation, um, a, a camp talking about, oh, what they, they, they over there marching for to stop this, stop that. Oh, they effeminate as hell. You already know who, who's the camp that's always calling us effeminate. Yeah, I already know. You already know them. Yeah. You know who it is. Yeah. I don't even got to tell they y'all who it bitching. is. Right. And they ain't doing a damn thing. They going to fade off to oblivion. Right. <laughs> okay? You can just sit there on your dirty couch in front of a keyboard full of stains. Stains from doing God knows what. Oh, right. 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 <laughs> talking about us. Hey, talking keep, about us. Hey, Cap, is that huh. the Greasy Pex camp? That's the, the, that's the brother that the, the Greasy Pex, pecs. Yeah. the oily yeah. Jesus chest yeah. Uh, yeah. dude. Yeah. Oh. Sick. Give to, me, go ahead, Isaiah 49, verse 6. Come to on. raise up the tribes of Jacob mm-hmm. and to restore the preserved of Israel. Uh-huh. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles. Come on. That thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. So the Israelites is the salvation unto the end of the earth. We are that sign. We are that phenomenon that the Most High said he would, he would do a beautiful work in the last days. That's what you see. That's right. That's exactly what you see. That's why the brothers and sisters in Chicago were at awe. Exactly. Because all they're used to were what? Shootouts. Shootouts. Gang, gang banging gang, and gang, gang, block gang banging. banging. But you see a thousand plus black men get together in unity. In unity. Under the same doctrine. And it's not like they haven't seen marching. They've seen... Million Man March. They saw the second Million Man March, which is a couple of years ago. What they haven't seen is, like you just said, organization with one mind, one spirit, one faith, Mm -hmm. unity, organization, military structure. They've never seen that on the earth. I did did an interview today, which is going to probably be released in the next 30 minutes or so. And the brother's from Chicago. And he said, what's the difference between, you know, that and with the... The Nation of Islam did mm-hmm. with the Million Man March. And I mm-hmm. said, look, this is not a knock to our brothers in the Nation of Islam. In Islam, we, we love them, brothers. We wish they would repent and come up out of that mm-hmm. and serve God the way God said he wants them to serve him. Right on. But I was like, when you go to the Million Man March, right, mm-hmm. you'll see hundreds upon hundreds of black men. But this one is a Buddhist. Right. This one is a seven-day right. Adventist. Right. This right. one is a Baptist. Mm-hmm. This one is... Whatever he Egyptology. calls it, Egyptology right. or whatever. Right. So there's no really unity there. They're unified as far as attending, uh-huh. but spiritually there's no Connection. unity. No con- the Most High is calling us back as what? As Israelites. That's how we sh- were supposed to be unified in That's this thing. Right. As a nation of people. As a nation. Hey, yeah. as an organized right. nation, as you right. see right. on the exactly. back of the shirts. That's it. Right? That's is it. that it on Isaiah 49 verse 6? No, sir. Read. Oh, no, sir. Yes, that was the end. That's it? Yes, sir. All right, so that, that was our purpose, to inspire, brothers, to inspire, to show strength and power and unity under the Bible as Israel. Go ahead, press play. Press play, press play. Staying clear of the demons and the goblins. Need a perch to get rid of all of the toxins. Can't poison a movement, it's not an option. Hey, hey, wait, stop, stop. Man, that thing sounds so good. Bring it back a bit. So you can you can contact your BBCs, your your uh, CNNs, your FOX, your what else? Your MSNBCs, your Sean Hannitys, and whatever ABCs or whatever alphabet group you want to contact. Right. You are not going to stop a damn thing. That's Hold on, like what Bill Clinton said: "Read my lips. I did not have sex with that. Right. Read my lips." You cannot poison the movement. Right. Hey, what's Karim? Oh. Hey, so what's Karim here? Who who does sign language? Oh, Karim. Oh, oh yeah, he's not here, right? Yeah. You cannot 
stop. <laughs> you cannot stop the right. movement. Right. All right? For you retards out there who are mentally sick. That's you right. think you fighting us, but you fight in the hand of God. That's you fighting right. what God <laughs> is trying to do. Isaiah 49, verse 6. Bring it back again. Bring it back. I got to hear Jaleel say that thing again. That thing sound good. Come on. They're really evil. They just came to deceive you into the fight. Try to stay away from the problems. Staying clear of the demons and the goblins. Need a perch to get rid of all of the toxins. Can't poison a movement. It's not an option. Hey. In a cut, and I watched like an owl. Woo. Seen one man tongue split two ways. Wow. Woo. Seen a Damn. What is it? You see, he, I seen a man's tongue split two God ways. Dumb. What is he talking about? <laughs> James 1, verse 22, please. What is the Bring officer talking about? I seen a man with his tongue split two ways. Mm. You know what? The most high prophesied that thing. Let's get it. James? The book of James, chapter 1 and verse 22. Mm -hmm. But be ye doers of the word, mm -hmm. and not hearers only, uh -huh. deceiving your own selves. Give me verse 28. Verse 28. Double oh, oh double-minded? Yeah. Oh, that's, uh, where's 8? Uh -huh. Verse 8. A double-minded man. A what? A double-minded man. Double-tongued. Is unstable in all his ways. When you're unstable, brothers and sisters, you become like that leaf that's tossed to and fro in the wind. You start to follow other doctrines that's not sincere, that is not of the most high. What do you start to do when you're double-minded? You start to run to the enemies to lie and say that we're a hate group. Meanwhile, your wife used to sing for this hate group. You made T-shirts called Naturally Woolly or Christ is Black. Right. So when the nation see that, they automatically take that as hate. But you were a producer of that shirt. So how hypocritical can a conquistador be? How hypocritical can somebody be? Read that again. Read the book that of, again. The book of James. And I'm going to try not to go in today because God knows I can. But I'm going to try not to go in today because I don't want to give these guys any attention anymore, man. It's pathetic. It's sick. It's, it's just a yeah, waste of, it's a waste waste of time. time. It's a waste of waste breath. Of time. Right. You know? So go ahead. Come on. The book of James, mm -hmm. chapter 1 and verse 8. A double-minded man mm -hmm. is unstable in all his ways. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Just like when I was back in New York, many of you guys know I used to run my own business. And I had a client that I had to attend to. And I had, I was, I was actually late. I was late, so I didn't have time to switch into my work uniform. Mm -hmm. So I had the Black Christ shirt. The old, remember the mm -hmm. old Christ shirt we used mm -hmm. to have? The mm -hmm. very first one? Right, right. Which, which the same brother that's calling us right, a hate group, right. he designed it, the idiot. Right, right exactly. The double-minded, double-tongued dude. He designed it. Mm -hmm. My client, which was Amalek, looked at it and said, hey, he looked at it. The whole, the whole gym just stopped. You could hear a damn pen drop. Wow. You could hear a mice fart. Bro, the dude looked at the shirt. He said, yo, something is morally wrong with that shirt. Wow. wow. So what? that was hate to him. But the same guy that's calling Israel, IUIC, a hate group, he designed yeah, that, that shirt. shirt. Yeah. He designed that shirt. Wow. Read that again. Read it again, man. Read it again. James chapter 1 and verse 8. Mm -hmm. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Come on, there's more in it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. All right. Get me the other video, because I know there's more. Get me the one with Liam, with Officer Liam. Right, right. That dude has some bars, man. Yeah, yeah. Sound Bring like, that out. Sound like a young, a young Nas, Nas in the right, making or no something. Doubt. Well, find it. Go. Play all of them. Just play the last. Yeah, play so play all of them. Play all... Hey, we gonna, this thing will never be played out. I can't even say we're going to play this thing out. Right, right. This is beautiful, man. This is inspiration. This is fight music right here. This make you want to stomp somebody's head in spiritually. It's beautiful. Come on. All, all young black and Latino and native Indian, native American men need to see this video. Exactly. And it's our job to get it out. It's our job to push it. Because there's nothing else that's going to bring us together as a nation. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, where else can you go where you see this type of organization, unity, structure? There's nowhere else you're going to get that. The scriptures give you that. Your identity gives you that. Understanding who you are. Mm -hmm. that's go ahead. It. Come on. We got the guns in the 
building. We got the guys in the building. Got guys in the building. We do not care about your feelings. We do not care about your feelings. Got guys in the building. And that, you know we what? What's crazy about the that? They really think that we care about their feelings. Because we knew when this drop was, was going to get hate for it. Mm -hmm. As if your complaining is going to stop us. Yeah. As if your Facebook post is going to stop us. You're just adding fuel to the fire. We love that. We love right. to. We love the adversity. Why? Because we love to persevere. Absolutely. Yes. It makes right. us. It makes us that much better. Yep. Okay. Get me Sirach verse two. Get me jump to the part where it talks about the gold tried in the fire. We love that thing. Please bring more fire. Because if you ain't getting hated on, you ain't really doing nothing. Exactly. It's, it's motivation. Talking about you, you ain't it's doing nothing. It's motivation, baby. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Somebody read it. Come on. The book of Sirach. Which, uh, which verse? The verse where it says gold tried in the fire. Verse 5. Yes. The book of Sirach, chapter 2 and verse 5. Read For gold is tried in the fire uh -huh. and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. You hear that? You know what makes you acceptable? Adversity. Yep. So please bring the adversity. Team up with more BBCs. Hey. Do what you got to do. Hate. Some of your, I see, there was a sister posting at like 4 or 5 in the morning. I'm like, why is she up talking smack about IUIC at 4 or 5 in the morning? Man. And I ain't going to say who she is, but she's located on the other side of the earth over there in London. Lord have mercy. I'm like, what is God, wrong no. with these people, bro? Wow. But we love it. Please bring more fuel for the fire. Please. Okay, read. For gold is tried in the fire. For gold. The Most High is trying to what? Remove those impurities out mm -hmm. of us, the weakness. So he said, nah, I'm going to put you through some stuff. I want to see what you got. That's why they call him what? A God of war. That's right. All right, don't you think he wants his servants and his vessels on earth to know how to war? This That's is right. war. Right. It's a spiritual war. And we love every second of it. That's right. We love every minute of it, That's every right. hour of it. So bring it. All right, come on. For Play that. Go. That's it. We do not care about your feelings. We do not care about your feelings. Got gods in the building. We got the gods in the building. We got the gods in the building. Got gods in the building. We do not care about your feelings. We do not care about your feelings. Don't care about you. <laughs> With scriptures, we shake and bake. Watch around Babylon, make it quick. Make quick. My people, they see us, we make them safe. Yeah. The gods I come back to come say that they make them pay. That's what the Bible say. G is for great, and school is for overkill. D is for dominate. That's for superior, yeah, but we Ooh. win it still. I love how we hit that corner. Look like ants. No doubt. Hey, the sister said it the best. Press pause. I believe it was Officer Yakub's daughter put mm -hmm. out a great video with right, uh, what's the page. other yeah, sister? That. Yes, sir. Sister Nichelle. Sister Nichelle. Yes, sir. And um, your daughter Ayon Ayana. Ayana. Yes, sir. Yeah. Very beautiful video. Great commentary. <clears throat> I love. You that. can find it on um, Facebook under um, what's the page? You have Ayana Israel on YouTube, Ayana and what's the is other sister's name? I Cap, I'm, um, I'm wrong. I can't remember right. Now. Okay, but you yeah. could you could go on my Facebook page and you see and you'll see it because I shared it. But that thing was beautiful, and she compared us to ants. Mm. The ants have one mission. They always have one mission, and what you see, they always work together. That's they right. know their role. They know their place, and they work together for what a greater common purpose. Yep. Yep. Okay, which is beautiful, and that's what you've seen right there. That's exactly what you've seen. Go ahead, press play. Your DNA full of Beautiful. We got more. Y'all thought we was done. We ain't done yet. We ain't done. We got another one. Find the one with, Bring it with out. Officer Liam. Go on IUIC events and find it. Go up. Go up. Go Play up. The, yeah, because no. you got two more. You got two more. Maybe one of those. Yeah, the one that say Black Crown. Nope, right below the that. The one that says Black Crown. Yeah, right here. Bars. Yeah, Officer Liam did spit some bars. Yeah, he did his thing, yeah. right? Call us. Feel free to call in 214-272-0400. The haters, you could call in too. Yeah, yeah. Those who like <laughs> us, call in. Those who hate us, call in. <laughs> Let us know what you think about it. It's okay. You can express your, your opinion. You can rename, remain anonymous. That new logo is fire. 
Literally. The scrolls of life is open. Dead souls is roaming and boasting. Following Romans to get rope to false devotion. Paradise in my forehead. Almost marked dead souls sewn with face thread to break bread. Omnipotent vibe. Descendants of the top tribes. We divide scripts from the eyes of the four scribes. Never spitting lies. We make the scriptures sing. Brothers still in Wonderland. We in the third book of kings. I'm learning lessons from my comrades and false brethren. Well, look at FBI that. Look aggression infecting the blessing of man. Deception, but no weapon form can calm down. This biblical story. Cause blow on the horn can make an Israelite be born oh. IUIC on the front lines The vanguards, the hands mark Playing North Stars and graveyards My call of duty is to build these brothers like Fortnite The destiny is to make these halos And make the light bright oh. Oh. How could you? Come on, man <laughs> Think about it Put the hater raid to the side Think about it How can you hate what God is moving on this earth? Man the spirit of the Most High God is dwelling in Israel, united in Christ. All praises to his son. That's, That's right. right. How can you hate? Cap, there's How a scripture can you on hate? That. There's a scripture on Go that. ahead. Bring it out. For, get 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 9, and we're going to jump down to verse 13. Because the more hate that we get, the harder we push. Period. Hey. The scripture says that. 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 9. Come on. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 9. Read it. For I think that God has set forth us, the apostles last. The apostles, the leadership, the elders, the men of the nation of Israel, the most I set us last. We're going to be the ones to tear this kingdom down with the word of God. Come That's right. right. As it were appointed to death. Go ahead. For we are made a spectacle unto the world. You see that? And That's what this is. Y'all seeing a spectacle to the world. This is not no light thing. I know y'all think, oh, they just marching. What's the point? Look like we got a caller. Answer it. Shalom, Most High in Christ, blessed. Thank you for calling in. Question or comment? Hey, comment, brother. 100% comment. Um, I'm on Facebook Live looking at the video, the, the, the footage from Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> brother. <laughs> It's fire. I, you guys brought me to this truth about a year and a half ago, and man, it's speechless. I showed it to a couple of people at work, man. Brothers got chills. It, it's, it, it, man, it, it's, the, it's the making, man. I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. All praises. <laughs> and you see that? That was the most high's purpose to show you that, look, the phenomenon is occurring. That's the, right. Willie Lynch, the Willie Lynch program has been uh, deactivated. Okay? So that's our purpose to inspire. Yeah. To inspire, and I'm glad you were able to show it to your um to some of your coworkers and colleagues, brother. Yes, Keep sir. up the good work. And I'm in law I'm in law enforcement. I'm a police officer. So I showed it to the brothers up there, man. And the brothers was like, "Hey, man, I, I knew something. Just I knew we had a purpose." And so I hope I brought some of these brothers to the truth. I'm over here in um here in Huntsville, Alabama. You know, we got okay. an HBCU here. I hear that the, the camp in Birmingham has some issues. I'm hoping that man the camp here because I know it prosper. But yes, sir. Man, these brothers just these brothers just Keep 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 it up, brother. All praises, <laughs> all praises to the Most High, all and praises. um and thank you for 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 sharing and supporting, brother. Thank you, brother. All right, shalom. See, that's a beautiful thing. I love to hear that, man, from our people. You know, and that's what a lot of these haters don't want. Their sole purpose is to destroy Israel united in Christ. They are hell bent on stopping the Most High's movement. Exactly. Now, the question you got to ask yourself when when let's say, God forbid, hypothetically speaking. This movement stop. What are you gonna do for the people? Exactly. Just stay on Facebook all day? Exactly. Kick your feet up? What are you gonna do for the people? Nothing. So just get the hell out of our way. That's and if right. you don't get the hell out of our way, we're gonna run you the hell over. That's Plain right. and simple. You have you have two options. Two options. <laughs> you get the hell out of our way, or we're gonna run, run you the right hell on. over. Right. That's Dude. it. It's a Mac 10 truck. And the most high is the driver. And he's yeah. going to run you right over. That's it. That's it. Hey, Kel, I got a mm. video I seen oh. on the internet real quick. Oh, finish the scripture that? real quick. Yeah, right. finish the scripture. All right, 1 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 9. For I think that God has set forth us, the apostles last, as we were appointed to death. And we're going to push this truth till we dead in the grave or Christ's return. That's right. Everyone right. happy first. Go ahead. For we are made a spectacle unto the world. The definition of spectacle. Anything presented to the sight or view, especially something of a striking or impressive kind. A public show or display, especially on a large scale. A marvel, a wonder, a sight, a show. That's what we put on. Go ahead. 
For we are made a spectacle unto the world and to angels and to men. That means people got to see us. We're fulfilling what Paul just wrote. We, ju we fulfilled that. That's right. Last right. year and on a grander scale this year. Verse 13. Verse 13. Being defamed. Being defamed. Having all the haters trying to drag our name through the mud, through social media, Facebook, and whatever, whatever else y'all are using. It says the apostles were going to be defamed in the last days. But what? Be, being defamed, we entreat. We push harder. That's it. We push That's harder. That's right. And, I, and, and look, I know these brothers push harder. And the majority of people in Israel United in Christ. But right now, I'm just speaking for myself. You better bring all the adversity. I love that. The more adver I'm, like, I'm like Hulk. The angry I get, the stronger yeah, the I get. Strong you get. So all of, your, all of your, all of all of your, your punk ass, right. BBC interviews, Bring it out. your slander, your lies. You can go to hell. You can do whatever the hell you want on Facebook. Guess what? That's just gonna make me go harder. That's for this right. truth. That's just gonna increase the innovation, Man. the innovation mindset. That's just gonna increase the visionary mindset. Absolute like I said, wow. we gonna you either gonna move out the way or we gonna run you right over. That's that's right. Hey, Cap, one of the brothers made a, a, a good comment. Mm -hmm. He said, that's only 1,000. They ain't even seen 144,000 yet. Oh, that's, that's right. 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 That's only 1,000. That's a battalion. On a one. block, a battalion. Just one. A battalion of hey. one. <laughs> well, remember, that's, that's only one piece of Judah. It's supposed to be 12,000. Man, right. damn! Hey, that's a good. Right. Hey, I never looked at it like right. that. I'm telling you, that's all that's I'm only at. one piece of. And you know, hey, hey by the Ooh. way, that all was in Judah. By yeah, the yeah, way. it was all Judah. But oh, you know right. what I'm saying? I'm saying if you think about it, when I was looking at the formations, yeah. that's a battalion <laughs> size formation right there, right? And then you have twelve of those is Judah, twelve of those is the car, so on and so forth. It's man. Yep. That's and all. That's I a beautiful. And these are. And you know what's crazy? You know what's sad? We're fighting for the people. Mm -hmm. We're trying to. Usher the second coming of Christ so we can get the hell up out of Babylon for the people, hoping that they repent. Because right. we only we know it's only gonna be the elect that's right. gonna be saved. That's right. But we're still fighting for our nation. And you have these Judases, you have these Jasons, the ungodly wretch. Right. You have all these different people who look like us, right. who talk like us, but mm -hmm. they're trying to stop it. I don't get it. Every movement, that's why, that's, why, that's why it's important. Every great black movement or indigenous movement always had a nigga or a exactly. spick trying to stop them. Exactly. Answer that. Shalom, Most High in Christ, bless. Thank you for calling in. Question or comment? I, I got a question, brother. All yes, right. Sir. So I'm diagnosed. Uh, I was the, the either my diagnosed me with a pen disorder. And I know Father Hills are, all right? Father the hills all. I, I should battle this. I should I should quit all this medicine and battle it. Correct? No. Um, I'm not keep gonna on, keep well, taking my medicine. Well, what are you taking medicine for? If you don't mind me asking you. Uh, 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 I don't mind you, my brother. I, uh, I I I'm taking the medicine. I have a pain disorder. I wake up out of my sleep and then I see. I can see. It's like I see things. It's like I. It's like I wake up out of my sleep. I see it's like I see things, you know. Okay, what I so would, I'm, I'm just trying to. What I would recommend, brother, is do a lot of fasting, prayer, um, but make sure that um, first consult with your physician. <clears throat> Remember what the Bible that's says. That's who I don't trust. I don't, I don't trust. I, the, but oh, go ahead. Speak, let, let me get brother, this. Speak, let me get brother. the scriptures for you. Let's go to Sirach Thank real quick. You. Let me show you what the Most High says about the man or woman. Who's an MD who you don't trust? I got you. Okay, go ahead. Come on. Sirach, chapter 38 and verse 1. Freedom. Honor a physician with the honor due unto him, for the uses which ye may have of him, for the Lord hath created him. So the Most High has appointed a lot of these physicians. I know, I know a lot of them of the other nations, a lot of times we don't trust them, but there are some physicians out there who might be able to help you. I had some in my lifetime. So that's why you got to continue to pray and fast. Um, brother, and also consult. I don't. I don't do no. I, excuse me. I apologize, my brother. Yeah. I, I really apologize. Consult. I don't do no drugs. But okay. When I when I mm -hmm. get off this med, when I don't take my medicine, I will wake up out of my sleep and I will see. I can see. Uh, see numbers in the sky. I, I can see. It, 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 it's well, bizarre. It's well, what bizarre. you want to do, like I said, you know, fast, pray, maybe research some herbs that you might be able to take, but do everything under your the the guideline. 
of your physicians. Okay, you want to do everything okay. under the guideline of your physician. Eventually, you might be able to wean off the medicine instead of taking it maybe twice a day. Just for example, let's say you have to take it twice a day. Maybe your physician will yes, be like, sir. okay, now you could take it once. Then that one time a day might go from a, 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 a full cup to a half a cup or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, I yeah. understand. I understand. I just, I just, I know that was off topic, but no, it's I, I okay, just, brother. It, it it's to okay. My mind, it's okay. And I need, I need, I need, I need a guidance from my brothers that because I want to, I, I just want to, I want to quit because I, I, I want, I want, I want to be gone with all this because yes. Father heals all. I want to, I, I want, I, I'm just, I want to make sure that I. Don't, I, yeah. you, you you understand what I'm trying to say. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Like I said, though, take steps. Take steps. Don't just go totally withdraw and then you're waking up in the middle of the night and you got algebra written on your wall. You don't want to do that. Right. Okay? So just take uh, the yeah, proper yeah, yeah. take the proper steps. All right, brother? Yes, sir. All right, Thank brother. You. Thank you for calling shalom. in. All right, shalom. All right, so Kevin, I found a video. I wanted to see what y'all think about this video, all right? Because we understand the things that we're doing, the march, everything that just happened at the men's conference. Despite what the haters say, we actually are affecting our people. So I wanted to see what y'all thought was on this uh, short clip right here. Uh, go ahead, play the tape. We are the prophets of the Most High. We are the prophets of the Most High. Go ahead. Now, this is not from the men's conference. This is from one of the camps uh, right afterwards. Chattanooga. 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 Yeah, uh -huh. is it that where it was? Yeah, so, again, uh, what's your feedback, or what do y'all what do feel about this? Hey, man, this is, it's beautiful right there. That's, I think that's uh, Captain Ben Zion right there. Look how that brother's walking. <laughs> that little young man. That's See right. how he's walking? Yeah. Chest out, Chest chin out. up like a man. He's yeah. real like... <laughs> this is exactly what our young brothers need to see. They need exactly. to see exam examples exactly. of true... Of true men, not boys, not exactly. gangsters, not Pookies and Ray Rays running around with Mac 10 and wow. uh, and a uh, AK 47. Right. I seen a video the other day coming out of I think it was Atlanta at a train station. Brother pulled out a Mac 10. Uh, yeah. He had a Mac 10 in one hand, and in the yeah. other hand he had an AK 47. Yep. Yep. And he was talking junk to another brother. Yep. He didn't pop on or nothing, but still. Yeah. So yeah. a lot of our times our brothers will look at world star hip hop, but these are inspirational videos exactly. that they need. Positive. Right. T.I. Right. said it. And Tip that's, why, said it. that's yeah. why it's so important for brothers and sisters to share something as simple as a share. Don't just look at the phone to be like, yeah, that was good. And then put the phone down. Our people need to see these images. Mm -hmm. They need to see these videos. Right. Hey, you know what, officer? Uh, you see that how young that brother is? The same exuberance that he had when he seen these brothers? That's the same Zubers I had when I first saw the, when I first saw these brothers out on the street. All praises. You know what I'm saying? I'm a grown man, so I needed that. You know what I'm saying? Just All so praises. happened, I happened to fall in the line just like he did and couldn't wait to get a purple shirt. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. And you know what? That young man is going to go home to his family. Lord's willing, his dad is in the picture. But with our nation, it's highly unlikely. Right. But he's going to go home to his mom or his dad, and he's going to tell his mom or his dad what he's seen. Okay, and Lord willing, they repent. But give me Proverbs 29, verse 18. The book of Proverbs, chapter 29 and verse 18. Where there is no vision, uh -huh. the people perish. And our people have perished in America. Why? Because we lacked vision. Okay, so what are we doing? We're reestablishing that vision. We're, we're rewriting our own vision. That's right. Absolutely. We don't need, the most, we don't need um, Esau's, Esau's vision. We don't want that. Because we've been doing that for far too long. Right. What, what are we doing? We're recreating our own vision. That's right. That's Positive right. imagery. That's exactly what, we, what happened with this march. And that's what we're going to continue to do. That's right. God says without vision, the people perish. So we got to make sure everybody does their due diligence to what? Establish the Most High's vision. That's As what? Right. A holy nation, a peculiar people, mm -hmm. a nation of kings and priests. That's right. Not... Pimps and gangsters, right. GDs and BDs, Crips and Bloods. Right. You got to, you walk outside, you don't know if somebody's going to split your dome wide open. You don't know if, 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 uh, if um, you're going to live to see next week. Right. That's not the life for us. Right. That is not the life, brothers. We got to put down those guns, put down those drugs, and pick up the Bible and come back to the most high God. That's right. You had something y'all was going to say? Nothing? No, so All right. What, what? Go ahead. No, no, no. What video? What, what we about to watch another? Uh, Hold it. Go up. Go up. Go up. What we got? No, no, no. Go, go up more, more. 
and let me let me show you the importance of unity. Get me um first get me the World Star Hip Hop video, then you're gonna get me the link on top of it. If you go down, you'll see it right there. The World Star, yes. So yeah, let me show you the importance of being unified. You're probably gonna say, okay, why am I showing this video? You're gonna see soon. So this brother right here, um, his name is Shabazz, I think. He shared our video. All praise. Oh, really? He shared our oh, video, and on his praise, platform, God. I think we received like twenty or thirty thousand views. We was in his city. Yep, he shared it. Go ahead. So the brother, just to bring you up to speed, the brother received a call that this nail shop owned by Moab, they put their hand on, they put their hands on another sister. Mm. Once again. Once mm -hmm. again. Once again, Moab mm -hmm. beating the hell out of our black sisters. Mm. And it was, okay? it, it was and mistreating multiple them. times. You said another call because it was multiple times that they had had issues with the From same this particular shop. spot. Right. So that's a that's multiple offenses. Coming out of Wash Pot store. Mm. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I ain't got no time for you. Talk too much. Huh? That's what I'm talking about. Go in there with him. Go in there with him. Go in there with him. So this brother, press pause, this brother came up was like, you know what? Enough with the talking. The boycotting ain't working. Right, right. Enough. Enough is enough. He decided that he had enough. So he went into the store, and this is what happened. Go ahead. Step away from the window. Step away from the window. Let y'all know this is the last, this is the second time I've been here with this shop disrespecting black women. This is over with. The last time, you going to happen. Y'all step away from this window, or y'all stay here, continue to support these people that continue to disrespect y'all. When black men stand up for y'all by these clowns disrespecting us, we don't get the support we need from y'all. Stop! That's the point that I wanted. You said when a black man, when a black man stands up for y'all, we don't get the support that we need. And that happened. There was another store where a black man stood up for our sisters. He went there the next day to make sure nobody was shopping from there. They attacked him. Exactly. Over hair weaves. Right. Over hair weaves. That was an open that was So open that Exactly. Terrible. Now this man is saying, look, I'm giving y'all a warning. Y'all stay out of here because something's about to go down. Now, common sense would tell the black woman, like, yo, you know what? Let me go somewhere else. Let me get up and leave. Mm -hmm. Nope. They stand there. It's like, it's like there's no other people that could do your nails, right. do your hair. Right. What happened to the... Thousands of um, hundreds of black-owned nail salon shops Man, be in a Chicago. Should be a lot of them. There's yeah. a lot of them. There are a lot of them. Hey, um, Phil from the Advice TV show. I know he renamed he renamed his um, his platform, but he posted a list of black-owned right. yeah, nail yeah, yeah, and yeah. beauty supply stores mm -hmm. in Chicago. Mm -hmm. You would think that black people would support it, yeah. you would but think. they did not. And it's the same reaction we got from the march, from those who used to be with us and those without. Some people, I mean, the, um, it was more pros than cons, mm -hmm. but it should have been no cons. But we know what the scriptures say. We know there's right, going to be right, haters. Exactly. Right, you know, right. We know that. But still, it's like, damn, we doing this to inspire the people. Would you have rathered if we walked with handkerchiefs, blue, blue and red the scarves hanging out our pockets right. with our pants hanging below our butts. Right. Right. Would you have rathered if we did that? Right. Go ahead. And this is it. The black, the black, this is the Willie Lynch right here. The black woman takes the black man for a joke. I'm like, oh man, he just talking. He ain't going to do nothing. That's exactly what's going through their minds. Hey, you know what else, Cap? That uh, that uh, Moab, he took him for a joke, too. He took him for a joke, yeah. too. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get, the, get the hell out of here, nigga. Exactly. Nigga, you do nothing. Yeah, yeah. These, these are my women now. They, nigga, you do nothing, like Dave Chappelle said with the... With the <laughs> nigga, you do nothing. <laughs> Go ahead. Press play. Come on. No problem. Now everybody. Oh, now you wanna, now you wanna move. 
Hey, that's why that's why the most I said what? Actions or wait. Wait, by him right, action. Right, right. That's it. Hey, you know, Judah, we about that action. That's right. We talk to you, you don't want to listen. So okay, I'm gonna throw a couple of bricks something. through right. your window. Yep. Okay? And that's Go just ahead. a warning. That's just and that's a just a warning. Come on. You get 911. Come out. Come out. Come out. Back it up. The brother said he wasn't playing. He's not playing. He said he wasn't playing. He is not playing. That's so he know. He know. You got another one. Take it in. There you go. You said you'll stop playing. Hey, get me that. Get me that in um Genesis forty nine. Get me the prophecy on Judah, please. Yes, sir. Okay. And this brother, unfortunately, he got arrested, but he knew he was gonna get arrested. Right. And they were able to raise money for him on GoFundMe. I think they raised like over twenty G's the, for him, so he yeah, made bail. The, the advice show, whatever. I think it's called the Africa Diaspora Network. Yeah. Network. Um, he set up a GoFundMe over twelve grand in a day. Over twelve grand in a day, and that's that's All a beautiful praise. that's a beautiful thing right here. That's called coming together with the mind right. But that's we got to take right. it to another level. That's we right. got to get be unified this is, under right. this. Right. This is the solution right here. That's this is gonna right. shut them down. This is really gonna shut them down that's because right. the, the repentant Israelite they would know better. I'm not going back to Moab, but at, I'm gonna show you what um, the unrepentant did after this. Mm. Okay, go ahead. Come on. The book of Genesis, chapter 49 and verse 9. Uh -huh. Judah is a lion's whelp. So the, the most prey. high called Judah a lion. Can I get that raw, brothers? Give me another one. That's not enough. Bring it out. More, more. Come on. I should feel like I'm in the damn safari jungle somewhere in Africa. Right. You hear that? That's Judah right there. Okay? <laughs> that is the tribe of Judah. That's, That's right. right. Okay? That's right. Where Christ came out of. Okay? And that spirit should be, on, should be on all the tribes. Christ said what? Come on. Judah is a lion's whelp Come on. from the prey. My son, thou art going up. Uh -huh. He stooped down. He couched as a, as a lion. And that's, that's what we've become in Babylon the Great in America. Right. We stood down. We stooped down as if we were about to attack. But what happened? And as an old lion, uh -huh. who shall rise him up? And then we became an old lion. What turned us into an old lion? Religion, politics, right, right. welfare, right. single family homes. We turned into an old lion, but guess what? That spirit is back on the earth where the black man ain't playing no more. That's At least right. the Israelite man. That's okay? Right. That's when we really going to stand up, when we repent as Israel. Right. Okay? Go ahead. Press play. We talk too much. That's it. Quit playing. Stop disrespecting black men. I don't want to go down. I ain't got it. I am saying that. Don't move. Don't move. Just put it I'm in your pocket. I'm not hiding. I'm not hiding. I'm not going to keep doing it. Yep. Come on up out of there. Back it up, sister. Ain't no question. Yeah, I'm okay. And these are some sisters. And they didn't come out with their guns drawn. All praises to the Most High. Right. It wasn't Esau that rolled up on the scene. Or right. Moab. Right, right. That would have been worse if it was Moab. Right. Um, but these sisters pulled up and, you know, un, you know, they took him in, but he was able to make bail. Now, close this out. And these sisters knew what time it was. Mm -hmm. He told them yeah. why he did that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Trust me, in their mind, it was like, in the car, they was probably talking to him if it's not recorded. Like, hey, bro, that was a good thing you did. That was excellent. You know what I'm saying? Play that one right there. Now, this is the aftermath. This is what happens when your mind is not right. You have people who are adverse to your cause, like we've seen in the past couple of days. Okay? Come on. Yeah, this is bugged out. So this Let's is the same store, This right? is the you know, same store. It's boarded up. But look, they still getting productive business. Still getting business. Oh, business booming. She just can't go a day without her yeah, nail. Look at this. What up? Mm. The hell is this? What up, Delilah? Horrible, bro. Jerk. And they knew what happened. They don't give a damn. Exactly. Look at her face. She don't care. That's embarrassing as hell. The haughty right. look. She don't care. That's horrible. So the brother did it for what? You know, it puts that spirit on you like, yo, what am I fighting for? Right. Exactly. Right. You know? But we exactly. know what we fighting for. Exactly. Why? Because like Christ said, <laughs> salvation is of the Jews. That's right. So right. we know what we fighting for. 
You know, and these are the kind of brothers we would wish would repent and come join us. Right, because they have that zeal, okay? but not according to knowledge. Exactly. They have a zeal, but not according to knowledge. But look at, look at these people. Look at the coons. Look at the coons. Mm. Be quiet. Quit talking to me. I'm just checking stuff out. Shop fool. Just... Oh, so, so now, if they, if they got husbands at home... Their husband's supposed to be telling them not to yeah. go in those shops. Yep. So if they don't have, either their husbands are weak or these are a bunch of side chicks. Yep. Mm -hmm. Either or. That's only, only yeah, two ways. Probably both, right? Probably both, huh? It's, it's, it's a lot of sisters in Hate there. Hate to say it, but hey, either the men are weak or these are a bunch of side chicks. Right. Absolutely. Bad. Go ahead. They kind of deep in there. They deep definitely kind of deep in there. Wow. Business has not changed. Wow. Moab laughing all the way to the Unbelievable, man. Bank. Yeah, and that's a Unbelievable. Thing. You know, um, get me uh, First Maccabees 3, verse 43, and then get me Nehemiah. Let me show you something. Let me show you exactly what we're trying to do to our people. First Maccabees 3, verse 43. Come on. The, test, test, test. The book of, the book of Maccabees, First Maccabees, chapter 3, and verse, what, what verse? 43. Verse 43. Read it. They said one to another, let us restore the dead estate of our people. Whoa, 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 whoa. Read that again. Say that again. They said one to another, let us, re let us restore the decayed estate of our people. Uh -huh. And let us fight for our people and the sanctuary. That's exactly what we're saying. That's we're right. We're fighting for the decayed state of our people. But some of our own people don't realize that. Right. What do they do? Like Captain Hoshia said, if y'all get a chance, watch that class he did. On, on our Facebook channel, right? It was called Allegiance with Satan or Allegiance with the Devil, something like that, mm. okay? And that's exactly what they did. Made it an alliance or an allegiance with Satan to try to stop God's movement upon this earth. When all we're saying is let us come and restore the decayed estate of our people. Right. Restore it unto what? It's glory, it's former glory, as in the time of King David, King Solomon, when we were the most precious thing under the sky, under the heavens, in the face of the Most High God. That's all we're saying. That's it. But now we have adversity mm -hmm. from our own people. From our own people. From those that love oppression. Mm -hmm. You love America. You love Babylon. You love your oppressors. You hate your own. That's the only reason you would speak against to try to stop this movement. That's right. it. Absolutely. Get me Nehemiah 2 verse 10. Because guess what? There's no new thing under the sun. It happened before. It's going to happen again. And guess what? It's going to continue to happen. It's going to continue to happen. Christ said what? They're going to they're gonna be given into marriage, right? They're going to party. They're going to do this. They're going to do that. They're going to hate until I come back. Yep. So a lot of brothers and sisters, they're going to find themselves on that keyboard, on Facebook, posting lies, half half lies or omitting information to make it to to demonize us slander right. us and guess what the crack the skies are gonna crack yep and it's gonna be too late you are gonna be that charcoal sitting down in front of your computer you and that laptop gonna get right, burnt right. up <laughs> the book of nehemiah chapter 2 and verse 10 mm -hmm. when sambalot the Horonite, uh -huh. and tobiah the servant mm -hmm. and ammonite heard of it it grieved them exceedingly. It grieved them. It grieved them exceedingly. Come on. That there was a that there was come a man to seek the welfare of the children of Israel. And I heard that. A brother on Facebook made a video and said, This march made me sick. I don't give a damn about your march. I don't care how much, I don't care how much Negroes you gather. But aren't aren't we supposed to do that? Gather souls unto Christ? That's wow. right. That's right. Yeah. So because we came to what? Seek the welfare of the children of Israel, the haters, the haters of our nation are mad, and also the heathens are mad. Right. Right. Okay? The heathens are upset, and we're going to show you that. We are going to show you that. Go down. Let's get the... First, I want the newspaper first. I want the newspaper. Now we're going to go into the BBC... Uh, article that came out with our beloved sister Joy Morgan. Answer. Shalom, Most High and Christ bless. Thank you for calling in. Question or comment? 
Um, hi, this is Sister Alaz from the Dallas camp. Alaz Hadar. How you doing, um, Sister? I'm just calling. I'm just fine. Um, I just wanted to call and say about the two marches that were done. My mom, originally when I came to the truth, she used to say, you know, the normal thing. Um, you're in a cult. What are you doing with your life? Like, you need to leave. But um, when she heard about the first march, um, immediately all that stopped. And then when she heard about the second march, and I told her all of the things that, you know, um, that people were saying and doing um, against IUIC, um, she was actually mad. <laughs> and that really surprised me. Um, all praises for the marches, both of them, because, you know, they changed my mom's perspective about this truth. That's true. All praises to the Most High. Our people are going to wake up. Our people, we have family members are, that are going to wake up, friends, bystanders. So everything, everything is done for a purpose. All praises to the Most High. Thank you for calling in, sis. Thank you. Shalom. Okay, what are we going to show here? The, we're going to read this article right here, right? And you know what's crazy? Before we read this thing, um, the first, uh, the first men camp that we did was sixty man camp. Remember that? Yeah, that was our Atlanta. first one. Mm -hmm. Then we graduated. To the um, Memphis and then to the one in Memphis was right. which was about what six six hundred? No, no. Mem oh, Memphis. Oh, last year it yeah. was, uh, was like eight hundred. Eight hundred. And then now this, but the hate, the hate's been there mm -hmm. even before the sixty men. Right. So you started with sixty. You're hating. Why? Because you want to stop this. Then the Most High increases it to right. six to eight hundred. Mm. The hate multiplied. Right. Because right. remember, we started catching hell within and without ever since the 800 men right. march, right. right? Right. So the purpose of the hate last year was to stop it. Mm -hmm. Now the Most High multiplied it again. When are you idiots going to realize it can't be stopped? The Most High is multiplying, multiplying, multiplying. It's like you're hating for no reason. Why? For what? It's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. You cannot stop God's movement. <laughs> Okay, so this is an article written by who? USA Today. All right, somebody read it, please. My vulnerable daughter became racist and was murdered after joining hate church. Mm -hmm. A killer still who won't reveal where her body is. Go or down. And killer still won't reveal where her body is. Go down. So everybody knows about this situation with our beloved sister Joy Morgan and what happened with Shofar L. Okay, um, the, ju the jury... Go ahead. Accept that. Shalom, Most High and Christ bless. Thank you for calling in. Hey, how are you? How are you? Who's this? I'm good. I'm good, brother. Uh, I'm Ellie Davis. I'm a pro-black intellectual scholar, and I'm living in North Carolina. And uh, I was just wanting to call and discuss some questions about the black culture in general. If okay. that's all right, if you have some time. Yes, that's fine. That's fine. What was your question? Okay. It's just, um, I mean, I see a lot of the work that the Hebrew Israelites do, mm -hmm. and I'm just wondering, why aren't we thinking bigger? You know, I think that in order for us to reach our potential, you know, we have to create a sense of unity and community, and that starts with the business, you know, and I see, like, the religious aspects, and I see the social aspects, but I'm wondering, when are we going to get together and start a political, financial movement? You said a, how would we do that? A political, you said financial a, movement. Yes, okay. Sir. Well, you mean a a political financial or a financial movement? Both. What do you mean by political financial? That, uh, would you could you elaborate on political financial? Yes, sir. I can. Mm -hmm. um, first off, I think that one black man gets a business, and through this business, he hires other black men, and they themselves branch off and they start their own business and you know they start to move up you know and once they move up they get into positions of power mm -hmm. you know and i think that in order for us to actually have a stable community our business and politics should be one you see does that make sense to you okay let me let me explain something real quick give me zephaniah 2 verse 1 uh because we do pr although it's not publicized like that we do practice nepotism inside of the israelite communities um me being a part of IUIC's organization, I can only speak for myself and the people mm -hmm. here. We do practice nepotism, if that's what you're making reference to. We do have businesses where we hire brothers and sisters 
to um, go out and do the same things that we do. So we have that amongst our community. Now, you're probably going to ask, well, why don't we hire people that are without, correct? Meaning people who don't f believe what we believe? Is that your next question? Well, I mean, that would be along the lines, but I can understand your beliefs. You know, I'm a, I'm a Christian myself, and I've studied our African history and the roots of Christianity in Africa, and I can understand, you know, the... Okay. Exclusionism, you know, I can I can understand that completely. All right, so and let me let me let me show you this real quick, brother. Okay, Zephaniah two okay. verse one. The book of Zephaniah, mm -hmm. chapter two and verse one. Mm -hmm. Gather yourselves together, yea, gather together, O nation not desired. So the nation not desired, my brother, is the Israelite nation. So um, before we come together, we have to all be in one mind. So I'm not going to open up a business and hire people who. Don't keep God's commandments because I don't want to hire an adulteress, an adulterer, because he might end up trying to sleep with the secretary of my business. I'm not going to hire a, a, a kleptomaniac because he might try to steal the money when I leave the business. So we want to hire people for within. We practice nepotism because I know I can trust my brother, Officer Lemuel. I can trust my brother, Officer Shema, because why? We're all, we all come under the banner of Israel and we repent in Christ daily, so I could trust these brothers. That's right. So to answer your question, we do um, have nepotism. We do practice that. We do practice that. And Lord's will, okay, the most high, Lord, Lord willing, in the future, the most high is going to magnify it to where the whole world will see. And people like yourself. But we wait, you said you're in North Carolina. Did you go to the school in North Carolina? Did you visit the congregation there? Uh, well, actually, I was raised in Virginia in a small rural country town. I actually moved to a city in North Carolina to kind of become more in touch with my culture. Okay. Hey, so, bro. Uh, brother, we got a congregation in North Carolina. Go on. Uh -huh. the, go on yeah, go on IsraelUnite.org. I'm not sure where it is. I don't want to give you the wrong city or county, but go on IsraelUnite.org and go to contacts and you'll see. There's a map there. You'll click on North Carolina, and you'll get a contact number and address. Contact the brothers, man, so you could come build, all right? I would love that. But all just right. Just one more thing before uh, I yeah, let go you ahead. go. I'm just wondering. So I'm hearing all the things that you're saying. So mm -hmm. are you just for the Hebrew Israelite community, we're, or are you just for black culture as a whole? We're for the Israelite culture. Um, God never called us black. We're for the Israelite culture, and we're for our brothers and sisters. We wish that they would repent. Our job is to get our people to repent That's first right. and foremost. That is the primary job of servants of Yahweh. That's right. All right? Okay. Hopefully That's that sweet. answered your question, brother. All right? But we can't hold up the line. Thank you so contact much contact okay. us, brother. Contact us, all right? Okay. Thank you. God all right. You. Okay. Most high in Christ bless. Thank you. That's right. All right. So let's get back to this article. And it makes me sick reading this thing, too. <clears throat> so, but her church, the Israel United in Christ Church, has been described as a hate church. We've been described as a hate church by whom, brothers? By the other nations. By, as, by the other nations. We teach that Christ is black. Christ died only for the nation of Israel. And according to Revelation 13, verse 10, let's read it. Let's read it, because I had an interview with Woody from the SPLC. Mm. And the only thing they published, we got another caller? Oh, all right, go ahead. The phones is hot today, boy. Oh, Most high Christ <laughs> bless. Shalom. Thank you for calling in, caller. Hello. Hi. How are you? My name is Michelle. Funny you, sir. I just wanted to tell everybody hello. My name is Michelle Timberlake with Marjorie's Beef Jerky. I'm the owner of Marjorie's Beef Jerky, and I just wanted to tell you guys, thank you for all of your hard work. It's been, I've been watching you guys for almost two years, mm. and um, I left the Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses right after. I all heard, praises. All praises to the right most. High. And give the sister a round of clap applause. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Give a, clap your hands for yourself, sis. Clap your hands for yourself. All praises. Thanks, brother. Mm -hmm. But what I wanted to tell you was the reason why I hadn't been all the way in yet, which I'm going to be, if, if things go right for me in November, I'm hoping I can be off the road from my 
my nine to five job to where I'm going to be full time, you know, work in my company where I could be home and make all my classes. So I just wanted you guys to know that you do have support. All just, praises. All you know, praises to the Most High God, sister. Praise. Continue to follow us and support, sister, and Lord's will see you soon. All right, sis? Thank you. Thank All you, right. brothers. You Thank guys you. keep up the good work. You All nice praises day. to the Most High God. All praises. All praises, man. That's a beautiful thing right yeah, there, man. That's that's right. Almost, sister, that's you almost beautiful. made me shed a tear. Yeah. And is. I don't cry often. That's seldomly tight. seen. All right? But, but little, little, a little flutter, a little, little tinkle flutter, in my little heart. Little. But it's important because we out there every day and we get a lot of knuckleheads, man. So, so that support it, it does. We really need. That's that. beautiful. Yeah. See, you see haters. You see haters. So it wasn't the march wasn't for no reason. It's to inspire. inspire. That's right. right. All right, haters. Look, repeat after me. Inspire. It's very easy to pronounce. <laughs> inspire. All right. All praises to the Most High, man. All praises and glory first to the Most High and His Son. All right. So it says here. But her church, Israel United in Christ Church, has been described as a hate church. Can I get what Christ said, please? The book of Revelation, chapter 13. So the Bible says Christ is a black man. I wear a shirt to work. My client tells me there's something wrong with that shirt. It's morally wrong. But I am part of a hate group. Morally. When I'm wearing a shirt that depicts exactly what Christ looks like. Right. So who's the hate group again? America's the hate group and all its institutions. That's right. And all of its institutions, they're the ones that breed hate. Come on. And hate is just an emotion. I could stand on the corner all day and scream, I hate you. I hate this. I hate th I hate your face. I hate the air you breathe. I hate the ground you walk on. I hate your shoes. That's just talk. That's just talk. <laughs> right. Right. But the true hate comes with what? Slavery. Slavery. Sharecropping. Mm -hmm. Jim Crow. Right. Redlining. Redlining. Yep. Right. And the brother that used to be with us that did the interview calling us a hate group, he's mad because he got redlined. Mm. He's, he, because we stopped his money movement That's in IUIC. Mean. You got redlined. That's exactly who got redlined. You, nigga. You got redlined. Okay? That's right. You, so, Spigger. So they're the ones who redline us, right, and do all these different things. Shoot us down in the street. That's the real hate group. So how can you look at us? We never lynched anybody. Have you lynched somebody before? Never. Have any IUIC congregation lynched anybody? Do we never. teach that? No, no, sir. At all. Okay. Are we poisoning the water? Of Are we poisoning cities? the waters Man. of an entire city like no. Flint? Flint. No. And then no. telling the people who's been affected by the water, you can't sue. Have we done that? No. And that's an easy thing to do, but have we done that? No. Not at all. No, we haven't done that. Are we shooting? White people down on the street? No, nope. not at all. Are we picking up our phones and calling the cops on white people because they went into the pool? Nope, not at all. Nope. Are we calling the cops on white little kids because they're selling water? Nope. nope. Nah. So how the hell are we a hate group? Hey. How the hell are we a hate group? Because we teach that man and woman, that God created man and woman, and America teaches no man and man. We teach what the Bible says, and you call us a hate group. Right. Mm. But on the back of your dollar, it says, in God we trust. God, we... When I walk into your courtrooms, I have to swear on a Bible. Right, right, right. So why not get rid of that Bible, and in the right. back of your money, scratch it off, and just put in the devil we trust. Inside. Right. We trust then everything will be all I read. But do not be a hypocrite and fall under, under USA Today and BBC organization call us in hate group Well, when in all actuality, you and the coons that work for you, you're the hate group. That's right. That's okay? right. Read that. The book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 10. Read, Read verse 9. Verse 9. Uh-huh. If any man have an ear, let him hear. So Christ says, if any man has an ear, let him hear. Come on. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Christ said any people, any persons that lead somebody into slavery, captivity, you're going into slavery. That's right. Read. He that killeth with the sword. If you kill somebody with the sword, now it's not a sword no more, now it's guns. If you kill somebody with the sword, must be killed with the sword. Must be killed with the sword. Come on. Here is the patience. Here is the patience. What does patience mean? Brothers, 
Forbearing. When you're long forbearing, suffering. suffer long suffering for something to occur. Yep. That's right. Come on. And the faith of the saints. And the faith of the saints. Right. Who's the saints? The Israelites. That's right. That's right. Who are the Israelites? The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and natives of Indian descent. Not the Hispanics and, nat and natives of conquistador descent. That's right. Okay? That's right. The blacks, Hispanics of native descent. This is what we're patiently waiting for. Christ said the other nations are going into captivity. Why? Because all of them had a hand in our slavery at one point of time. And the scripture cannot be broken. And the scriptures so cannot be broken. You could take a black highlighter. You could you can you can <laughs> mark out, out scriptures. <laughs> you can come up with a 2020 King James Version Bible. Right. You can come with your NIV or whatever the hell you call it. The scriptures cannot be broken. Right. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. So we are not a hate group. But go on, read. But her church, the Israel United in Christ Church has been described as a hate church where the congregation are reportedly taught that white people are the devil and women are oppressed and forbidden from wearing trousers. I want to deal with two points right here. It says where white people, and there's no white people in the Bible. Your biblical name is Esau. That's right. E-S-A-U. That is the biblical name. We all have biblical names. Like, we're not black. We're not Negroes. We're not African American. God calls us Israel, Israel. or That's Judah. Right. That's okay, right. so right here in Revelation chapter 14, let's go to the earlier verses. Um, where is it? Uh, let's go to chapter 12. Because remember, when John the Revelator wrote this, he did not write chapter 12, chapter 13. It was a scroll. It was one long letter. Let's go to the previous chapter, please, and start at verse 1. Well, uh, 12 and 1, right? Mm-hmm. The book of Revelation, chapter 12 and verse 1. Bring it out. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, mm -hmm. a man clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet. That woman is Israel. When you go to the book of Jeremiah, I believe chapter 6, verse 2, mm -hmm. God compares, compares Israel to a, com a comely daughter, a beautiful woman. Come on. And upon her head, a crown of 12 stars. Mm -hmm. And she... Being filled, I'm sorry, and she being with child, cried, travailing in birth, and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another woman in heaven. Mm -hmm. And behold, a great red dragon. Stop. A great red, 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 red dragon. Come on. Having seven heads and ten horns. Having seven heads and ten horns. This is not talking about a literal dragon. This was symbolic. Let's go to Genesis 25. Okay, yes. Genesis 25, verse 25. What is the red dragon? The book of Genesis, chapter 25 and verse 25. Read it out. And the first came out red mm -hmm. all over like a hairy garment. This was Esau. He was the firstborn. He came out red all over like the hairy dragon. When you go back to Revelation now, chapter 12 again. Uh, Revelation 12 and 3. John the Revelator is giving you some history here. This is talking about Herod. Herod. King Herod was an Idumean. He was an Edomite. He came from the lineage of Esau. He was red. He was red. If he was here today, you'll call him a European, a Caucasian. He was red. Come on. And behold, a great red dragon uh -huh. having seven heads and mm -hmm. ten horns. Come on. And seven crowns upon his head. Come on. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven. That's Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. And did cast them to the earth. And did cast them to the earth. Now, jump to, get me, you're in Revelation 12 right now, right? Yes, sir. Go to verse 8. Verse 8. And prevailed not, neither was their place found anymore in heaven. Come on. And the great dragon. And the what? And the great dragon. This great dragon is still making reference to the red, the red dragon that we read in verse 2. Come on. Was cast out. He was cast out. Come on. That old serpent. That old serpent. It's not talking about an old snake that was in the garden of Eden. That old serpent was a nation of people. That old serpent. Come on. Called the devil. Called the what? The devil. Called That's the right. what? The devil. Read this article again. 
Come on. But her church, the Israel United in Christ Church, mm -hmm. has been described as a hate church. Come on. Where the congregation are reportedly taught that white people are the devil. Read your part, Yahalom. Call the devil. Call the devil. Come on. And Satan. And Satan. Come on. Which deceiveth the whole world. Which deceiveth the whole world. The word devil means what? Deceive. Deceiver. Deceiver. That's right. The word Satan means adversary. What nation of people deceived the whole world into thinking that the people in the occupied Zionism, Rothschild, um, land of Israel are the Jews? White people. Britain That's and right. America. That's when right. you sign the Balfour Declaration. Okay? What people deceived the whole world into, into even, even in their politics? 9-11, your own people don't even believe that that was some Arabs with some box cutters. Right, right. Christmas, deceived. Christ wasn't born in, in December. New Year's, January, deceived. That's right. New Year's is March and April, depending on what time, when the um, new moon comes in. Okay? What people deceived the whole planet Earth? Red people. Edomites, Caucasian right. people. That's so this right. is talking about you. Read that again. Come on. And the great dragon was cast out. Uh -huh. That old serpent uh -huh. called the devil uh -huh. and Satan, uh -huh. which deceived the whole world. So if you got a problem with that, take it up with God, not IUIC. That's right. Because the Bible has been here before Israel united in Christ. That's right. The Bible has been here since the inception of time. Okay. All you did, you just translated it. From the, um, the Greek to English, right? From Hebrew to English, a composition of records, and you called it the Bible. Mm -hmm. That's all you did, but it, it's been here forever. That's right. This has been recorded in this Bible. We're just bringing it out. We're making it plain upon tables. That's, That's right. exactly what we're doing. That's right. So if you have a problem with God calling you the devil, guess what? Take it up with God. Write him a letter. Maybe he'll write back. That's right. Now, right here it says, and women are oppressed and forbidden from wearing trousers. Notice, notice what it says. It puts oppression, it links oppression with trousers, right? Right. This is what I want. Go to the, minimize this, whatever we're not using, just take it off the screen. But minimize this article. Go to the one that I sent you with Amalek. Because I wouldn't be surprised if the BBC is owned by Amalek. Exactly. I said, go down, go down, you're going the wrong way. Keep going. Keep going R right there. Hey, Captain. Yes, sir. Real quick. We got a bunch of sisters commenting on, on Facebook right now saying that they feel freer. They have more freedom now than they ever had. All Sister praises to the most high. Like All, All praises. And that's scriptural. We have liberty in Christ. That's right. We have liberty in Christ to repent. Go up. Go up. Go up. All right. So we have Hasidim Jewish people here. She got her head wrapped. Go down. Go down. Go down. All right, stop right there. Can we zoom into that or no? So that looks like, more than likely, that's probably New York. Yep, I'm right. Okay. Okay. And look, you have Hasidim Jewish people mm. wearing skirts and dresses. Mm. So how come USA Today, who's probably owned by Amalek, exactly. mm -hmm. why ain't the BBC and the USA Today riding on them? Right. And saying they're oppressed for wearing trousers, trou um, from not uh, not being able to, to wear, wear trousers. trousers. Right, right. But you want to come at us because we're doing what the Bible says, Deuteronomy twenty-two verse five. And I'm pretty sure the people from USA today they say they believe on on Jesus, mm. on Christ, oh, it's a, the it's, Bible. Mm, it's a right? building full of Christians and everything. Right. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. They have think tanks full mm -hmm. of so-called Christians, mm -hmm. but. What happened with this verse right here? Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Come on. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Come on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. That's why in your Babylonian society, you teach that what? A man can wear a dress now. Mm, a man right. can marry a man now. A man can marry another man now. Right, a right. woman can marry a woman. That is not of God. We, we teach what is of God. Your job as the adversary, Satan, as the deceiver, devil, is to go contrary to God's laws. Right. But you want to magnify what we do 
But what happened to the Hasidim Jewish people who wear mm. dresses? Right. Because they keep what? Torah, Tanakh. Right. Exactly. Right. What happened to them? How come they're not mentioned right. as the oppressor of women? Exactly. I'm telling you, that's, this is why we call you the devil. That, because you right. are the devil. Right. Hey, Captain, you ever think it might be because they believe that that's their culture, but they don't believe that this is our culture. So they attack us for yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that could be it too. They don't believe. Yeah, right. the damn devil. Come on. Can't be mad at us, man. You cannot be mad at us. This is crazy. Did you want to How read about the part? Amish? How about the Amish? No, I don't want right. to read it. I just wanted right. to show you a picture. Go down. Let's see some more. More pictures. Down. Down. Any more? All right. You can close that out. I just wanted the dress. That's all I wanted. How about Amish people? The Amish women wear dresses. Right. Yep. How come you don't talk about them? Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. I am not going to go in the way I wanted to go in today. So please take this as mercy. Take this as mercy. Um, bring this out. Cross this Finish out. Him. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. Like I said, our condolences to the family of Joy Morgan. Right. And condolences to us, too, because she was part of our body. That's right. You had an idiot, a idiot, demonic woman turned into a damn Jezebel overnight. Mm. Talking, of, well, not overnight. It was brewing in her spirit. Right. Talking right. about we were the cause of death because we didn't protect the sister. The sister had the audacity to say that two sisters mm. um, came forth and made a complaint calling the brother a sexual predator. His sexual deviance is in the congregation, and the brothers in London just turned a blind eye. That is not true. Sister, if you could get the name, if you're watching, if you could get the name of those two sisters, and they could come forth with proof that they, in fact, indeed, made a complaint and, and the leadership turned their blind eyes, next week on this show, I would openly apologize and say and, and retract my statement. That is a lie. That is a lie. That brother never had any complaint about any sexual deviancy, ever. Mm. Never had a complaint about that. Never, ever, ever, ever in the congregation, from what I'm hearing from the brothers in London. Okay? But, um... Okay, so we're done with that article. Like I said, our condolences to the family um, and those who are suffering inside of the body because what's going on? This, is, this was horrible. But the same way you couldn't blame Dylan Roof's church, Timothy McVeigh's church, right. how can you blame the whole organization for what one person did? Right. And the brother still maintaining his innocence. But... In the court of law, he was found guilty. Okay? Right. So we have, to, we have to roll with that. And there, I'm going to be honest. There were some discrepancies in the story. It is what it is. I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to cover for you if I feel like you're lying. There were some discrepancies in his story. Mm. And that's why they found him guilty. guilty. Okay? And I pray that we are able to recover the sister's body. We could give her a burial. You know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, this is horrible. But as you grow as an organization, we can't predict what somebody's thinking. This is not the Minority Report. Haters that are watching, Minority Report with Tom Cruise was a movie. It's not real. Right. If Yahalom leaves after this show, I don't know what he's capable of doing outside these doors. I don't know what, what's on his mind, whether he's going to go stick somebody up, if he's going to go commit adultery, if he's going to go home and, God forbid, kill his wife or choke his wife. Mm -hmm. We can't control that. Right. We can teach the Bible, teach God's laws, and only hope that you walk according to the commandments. That's right. So stop the lies and slander. Just like when it first popped off, oh, she was going to expose something. There was money laundering. We were hiding money and stealing, so we offed her. Wow. Right. That's what Flatface said. Ah, it's crazy. Bro, that is wicked as hell. Y'all don't believe in the Bible. You guys do not believe in the Bible. God says, liars shall not inherit the kingdom of heaven. That is omitting information and trying to paint a picture is still lying. That is lying. That's bearing false witness. Stop. Stop. All right, come on. Just play that video. Play the, um, the, the, the document. The, no. Is it that one? The Joy Morgan documentary? Yes. Yeah, let's play that. I'm telling you, these people lie like it's, it's going out of style, man. It's in their nature. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. But this is the opposition that we're facing, y'all. It is what it is. We just got to gird up the loin, 
and persevere. Persevere and knock down everything in our way. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, we'll just skim through it. Like I said, I'm not going to address everything. Uh, Captain Hoshia did a wonderful class the other day called Allegiance with Satan or something like that. Mm -hmm. Y'all could go ahead and watch it. He called out a lot of people that are in here, especially the two sisters that had their face blurred out. Um, so I'm going to leave them alone because if I get started, there ain't no stopping me. Um, let's get a scripture real quick. Let's get, because uh, we're about to read this article. We're about to look over this documentary from the BBC. Get me Wisdom of Solomon 15, verse 11. Wisdom of Solomon 15 and verse 11. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 15 and verse 11. For as much as he knew not his maker, and him that inspired into him an active soul. So a lot of our people don't know their maker. And as you can tell by their actions. Come on. And breathed in a living spirit. Uh huh. But they counted our life a pastime. So they counted our life a pastime. Okay, the people that turned their back on, these, on the truth, the people that are lying and slandering and omitting information and trying to paint a false narrative, the people that are, that are gathered together with the heathens of, of BBC News and running to the, um, running to the nobles and, 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 and complaining and lying and so forth. Come on. And our time here, a market for gain. And a lot of people are taking our time here, a market for gain. That's exactly what they're doing. They're trying to gain notori notoriety by what? Lying and slander and putting out false information and so forth. Come on. For, say they, we must be getting every way. We must be getting every way. Come on. Though it be by evil means. So a lot of them know that they're doing evil. But God has them in a trick bag. That's in that delusion of grandeur. He got them in a trick bag. He's keeping you right there. That is your lot. Your lot is to be the devil that the Bible speaks of. Your lot is to walk in the way of Cain. Just keep walking in the way of Cain until you greet those missiles. Okay, that's all you can do. Come on. Play the, um, the, um, the doc. Play the doc. And then, and then, hold on, hold on. And then another... Sister's going to say I lied in one of my classes as if I was not yeah. in court to see what happened, as if I don't even have the transcripts of the whole, the whole court. I got right. that, too. Right. And then she's going to say I lied in my in my um because they have a portion of me speaking in here. Right. She's going to say I lied. I'm like, what did I lie about? Sis, I don't even know you. Why is my name in your mouth? Then the other guy that used to be with us here, Mr. Glass, um, Lerone Sims, he's going <laughs> to make a comment, Lerone Sims. And say, oh, yeah, um, I was amongst him. He lied, he lied a lot when I was with him or some, something to that nature. I'm like, what did I lie of? Wow. <laughs> I mean, what did, what, what did I, if, if I lied, bro, Day of Atonement is next week, right? Right, If right. I lied on something, send me the proof. And if I lied and you're right, I'll repent. Right. But right. I know I ain't lie on you. So why is wow. my name in these people's mouths? So she's saying I lied because I guess because I didn't bring my mother on into the camera mm. when I said, you know what's wrong with these people? A lot of them are too damn weak. Mm. Right. My mother came down from, and I, should, I only shouldn't even have to explain myself, but I'm going to do it quickly. Hey, I saw it, Cap. At the exactly. You day. brother yeah. seen her. She's yeah. been here for two months. Yeah. She came down. And I told her, look, mom, you could, you know, come through. Come see your grandkids. Come help my wife, whatever. Because my mom's a non-believer. She, she's, she's into Catholicism. Right. Right? But that's still my mother. The right. Bible says, honor your mother and father. Right. That's right. Right? right? right. Um... I said, look, I have rules in the house. You got to wear a dress, and you cannot defile the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. You know what she said? Okay. Because I understand crazy. you have to rule your house. But these nincompoops who are complaining, they can't rule nothing. Yeah, right. Exactly. That's why they're saying, oh, he's lying. Because they themselves could not be in order around their family. Or when their family came around them, they could not get their family in order. So I have to be coupled into that same group of nothings right. of people who who, right. who who can't walk right, like the brother who could not get his wife to come in. Now he's talking smack about me. They couldn't rule their house well, and they expect me to be the so same. All, of a sudden, right, right, right. all because I didn't show, I didn't bring my mother into the screen. So my challenge to you, sister, who said I lied, you know who you are. Your face was blurred out. 
call BBC and ask for Woody and ask Woody at the end of the interview if he's seen and spoke to my mother, because he did. Okay? So that's that. Oh, but go ahead. These people, I'm telling you, these people are idiots, bro. They're idiots. Because you fall into temptation, you want us to fall into temptation. Right. You know what it is? The mere existence of Israel united in Christ, the progression and the perseverance of the men and sisters in IUIC is a testament of your failure, yep. wow. of you being a two-time loser. That's what it is. And you hate that. It's torment to you. That's why you're up four at three in the morning. I hate them. I hate them. Look, writing long novels. Can't even sleep. Right, writing right. long novels. Because we are, a, 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 our existence shows that you are a failure. And it bothers you mm. at night. It's torture. Come on. I'll test, test. I was going to tell you, if all these haters put the same energy that they put in to hate, Christ have been here already. If they use that wow. same energy, if they use that right. same yes, resources, right. the same three o'clock in the morning putting some work in, we'll be out of here by then. Right. They, they, they were not do doing that when they was with us. Oh, three or four o'clock in the morning, posting whatever they can. They weren't doing none of that when you was with us. Right. Exactly. And all of a sudden, your fingers, you got Hulk fingers. Yeah. yeah. Strong right. fingers. Strong fingers. Yeah. Bruce Banner fingers. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. It kept it. It's yeah. like what you said before. Gamma ray fingers. <laughs> <laughs> it's like something you said. When brothers lead a body, they get all this wisdom. All of this wisdom. And, and all, all of a sudden. Everything. When they were here, they never went to camp. You couldn't get your wife to come to the school. Yeah, come on, bro. Stop. Right. Stop. Who are you fooling? Hey, Sister's Kat, the same thing. Huh? Can I make a correction real quick? Too, yeah. For no trouble. Uh, that article, it wasn't the, uh, the, the general big USA Today. It was the USA Today Post. So it was a, 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 a smaller. A smaller. Yeah. So it wasn't USA Today. It was uh -huh. USA, USA Today Post. Okay. So it was yeah. a smaller. So um, I can give credit to who it was. Smaller. Yes, sir. Group. Okay. All right. Um, go ahead. Press play. We're going to skim through this. Take the, take the slide McGuire, through. Slide Joy through. Morgan has been missing for two months. Keep going. Keep going. Keep she going. She was last seen at an event Keep going. at her church. Keep going. Up. Family uh, desperate Blue for Waffle, the Conquistador. I don't even want to see that. 30 miles away in Hertfordshire. All right. right, right, right go, back, go back a little. Go back a little. Right there. And we're going to be the ruling people in the kingdom under Christ. These views have resulted in it being labeled as a black nationalist hate group by a civil rights organization in the U.S. They well, have stop. A belief. Well, the founder of, of this is where this is where I have a problem. The founder of hey, just take this down until I'm ready. I can't. She's just right. Hideous. Yeah. Please. <laughs> okay. So, oh, <laughs> that's the wrong. Oh. That's the wrong sound bite. <laughs> but okay. Hey. <laughs> um, SPLC was founded by Morris Dees. Morris Dees is an Amalekite. Oh, um, I believe. I think I could be wrong. I think he's Sephardic. Mm -hmm. In their Torah and Talmud, they teach you that the Jews are above all nations. Right. We're reading it out of the Bible. Right. 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 In their in their Talmud, they teach you that the goy is like cattle. The goy means na nation. Mm -hmm. Um, goyim means nation. Mm -hmm. Goy means heathen. They teach you that in their Talmud. These are the same views that Morris Dees had. This is how he was raised. So you're trying to tell me he don't know that the Bible's a real book? Right. Because I'm pretty sure he learned that in his yeshivas. Uh-huh. Right. And then now they're saying, oh, the, SP the, the SPLC is not credible at all. You could do the research yourself. And they own people say, say that they're not credible. Exactly. Go back. Let me get on uh, um, Heidi. And I ain't going to speak about her too long because she's doing her job. The nations are on their job, but it's the coons and the, and the, the niggas and the spiggers amongst us right. when they backstab God. Mm. When they backstab God, that's when we got to get at you. Okay, but she's doing her job. And you know what's crazy? When I first seen this lady right here, you know what popped up in my mind? Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito right. in Batman. In ba Remember right. Penguin? Hey, let me see that's that real quick. It. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's the first thing that popped up in my mind. Go down. You're going to yeah, see it. That's it. Watch. Blah! <laughs> that's Bro. it. Bro. Hey, oh. the teeth and nose and everything. Right. That is a wow. long lost kin. Wow. That's it. Bro. Wow. Bro. Bro. Kindred. 
Like Ooh. I said, they on their job, man. They are on their job. Leave that up there for a while. Let it marinate. Right. Wow. Get me um lamentations, please. Two verse fifteen. <laughs> That's her daddy, ain't it? <laughs> Lamentations like. 2 15. Come on. The book of Lamentations, chapter 2 and verse 15. Yeah. All that pass by clap their hands at thee. Mm-hmm. They hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem. Come on. Saying, Is this the city that men, I'm sorry, is this the city that men call the perfection of beauty, the joy of the whole earth? And that's how all the heathens think. That's how all the Goyim think about us. Mm-hmm. They said, this is the city of perfection. These are the Israelites. This is exactly what they say about us. Okay? Get me um, John 15, verse 18. Take this down, please, please. Take it down, take it down, take it down. Uh, let me see what else that I wanted. Uh, is there anything else from the documentary I wanted? Captain Hoshai went over everything the other day. So I'm not even going to just regurgitate what he went over. Um... Okay, get me, uh, read, read what you got, and then we're going to show that right there. The purple sky. <laughs> Come on. The book of John, chapter 15 and verse 18. If the world hate you, ye you know that it hated me before it hated you. So Christ was, was hated. Why? Because Christ was a revolutionary. That's right. John the Baptist was a revolutionary. That's why his head was removed from his body. So what do you think? What do you expect in Israel United in Christ? Expect the whole world to love us? When the whole world is pushing men can marry men, we're pushing no men are supposed to marry women only. The whole world is pushing a white image of Jesus Christ, which we know is Cesar Borgia. What are we pushing? The true image of Christ mm-hmm. being a black man. The whole world is pushing that the, the, the Israelites are white. We're saying no. The Israelites are the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and natives of slave descent. That's right. So, of course, we're going to be hated. Why? Because we're standing up for God. And that's what God commanded us to do. Okay, read. Verse 19. Mm. If if ye were of the world, Uh the world would love his own. Come on. But because ye are not of the world, Uh but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. Therefore, we're going to receive hate. We're going to receive hate from people we used to call our fellow Israelites who went back into the world. Some of them still think they ain't the truth, but they not because they sure ain't moving like it. Okay? So guess what? We're going to be hated by them too. But it's an it's in expectation to be hated from the heathens and from those in the world because Christ said it was going to happen. Right. Okay? Give me Acts 17 verse 5. You're going to read 5 to 6. So we're not expecting to be loved by everybody. If you want to be loved by everybody, you got to go back to the Christian church. There's going to be trials, tribulation, adversaries, adversaries. Okay? Come on. The book of Acts, chapter 17 and verse 5. Uh-huh. But the Jews, which believed not, moved with envy, mm-hmm. took unto them certain lewd fellows of the baser sort. And you have lewd fellows of the baser sort. Come on. And gathered a company. And they all gathered in a company together, whether it be on Facebook, whether it be wherever. Come on. And set all the city on an uproar. Come on. And assaulted the house of Jason. Come on. And sought to bring them to the people. Mm -hmm. And when they found them not, Uh they drew Jason Mm -hmm. and certain brethren unto the rulers of the city, crying, Uh these have turned the world upside down. And this is why they hate the Israelites. Because we are turning the world upside, and the world is already upside down. We're turning the world right side up. Right. That's right. Okay, that's what God says. We're turning this world right side up, and they hate it. Righteousness is always set at odds against evil, and you're looking at righteousness right here. That's okay, and we're going right. to continue. And if we sin, we're going to repent and keep it moving. That's okay, right. that's all. That's all we can do. We are not going to stop. Like I said earlier, y'all have an option. Either we're going to run you the hell over or you're going to step the hell to the side. I want to use another word. I know. We are either going to run you the hell over or you're going to step the hell to the side. Okay? Come on. These that, ha- these that have turned the world upside down uh-huh. are come hither also. Or come hither also. 
Now, after the march, what happened? You had the hurricane, right? Uh -huh. right. Um, to our brothers and sisters in Bahamas, all praises. Yeah. The Most High spared every single last person of our congregation in Bahamas. All, all praises. Uh, no lives were lost. However, those those who are without, their lives were lost, um, and that's very unfortunate. Um, I heard you had a boat of Bohemians that wanted to come here, right? And Trump said no, right? Because they were gangbangers mm. or whatever. How Drug does how did how did he know that? Exactly. Right. He didn't investigate that. He didn't. Right. In, he didn't. There wasn't no interviews with the people trying to get on the boat. Right. He just don't want no more black people over here. Why? Because that's what he has to push to his um, right wing conservatives, um, extremists. Okay. Um, but it's all good because who the hell want to come to Babylon anyway? Right, right, right. Hey, um, Cap, you know what? That mm -hmm. makes sense when the scriptures say we're the nation that's not desired. Yeah. Our nation, that's, that's what they call us, the unde undesirables. Desirables. Mondays and Democrats. Right. That's what they call us. Watching now, nation. the most I sent the hurricane, we know God was in that storm, right? But right after the storm, mm. right mm. after the storm, mm -hmm. you looked up in the sky and all you seen was purple. purple. Wow. Purple, purple rain. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Purple. Purple, purple, mm. purple. And there ain't no coincidences. There ain't no, there ain't no coincidence. Coincidences with What's the, most the irony in that? Mm. A purple sky. Mm. Not a blue sky, not a great sky, not a black sky. Right. Purple. purple. Finish him. The most I found it befitting. For you to receive a purple sky. <laughs> That's right. So look up in the sky. Yeah. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's the Israelites. That's right. Right. Keep hating. Keep hating. Keep hating. Right. Keep hating. We, we love it. We love it. We, we love, love it. The we blessings. love it. All praise to the Most High. All praises to the Most High, man. Look, we're going we gonna to continue to do what we do, and the haters are going to just do what they do. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. You know, we're not going to go back and forth with the bickering tit for tat. We're just going to keep pushing this truth. You know, that's all we can do. You know, and all praises to the Most High for bringing Israel united in Christ to new levels. Mm -hmm. And and even some of these other Israelite camps. I got to give the shout out. I ain't going to be a hater. You know, you have a lot of Israelite camps that started very small and they sprung out. Shout out to, um, how they call, um, what's the brother's name? Um, Chief, Chief Ephraim. Okay, he had on an IUIC shirt and he was catching hell for it. Right, right. Okay, but it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Real recognize real. Right. That's, that's right. That's, right. I'm gonna leave it at that. Real recognize real. Shout out to Chief E from. Shout out to um. There was a brother from, from um, oh, uh, they wear red and gold. Mm. Oh, uh, true, uh, true, true, true nation. nation. There was a brother yeah. who yeah. sent a message, uh, from True Nation and he gave us much props, much respect. And uh, HOI, of course, Zabak and them, shout out to those brothers. Uh, the brothers who, of course, who don't hate, who don't sip haterade for a living. And, you know, Lord willing, we all will be in the kingdom one day under one doctrine, right. unity and in spirit of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, or Yahweh Shai, like you brothers would like to say. That's all right? right. So, um, Brothers and sisters, continue to support, continue to follow us. Lord willing, next week we have another great episode for you. All right. Thank you for tuning in to In the Scripts. You're listening to Reloaded. Reloaded. In the Reloaded. Reloaded. Hey, subscribe Reloaded. to the YouTube. Reloaded. Subscribe, Reloaded. To, the YouTube. subscribe to the YouTube channel. IUIC Dallas. Um, in the scripts on YouTube. And subscribe to the Facebook channel as well. All right. right. All praises to the most high. Y'all have a good day. Shalom. 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 Israel, are you ready? 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 If you buy my father business Doing things that these haters can't mimic Sit inside line with the grimace Got fit in your heart and get left with the feeble and it. We out here to win it We out here to get it Salvation that to the repentant No time for the wicked Stay girded with wisdom The devil can't fool me with Guinness Can you comprehend it? Still giving excuses You know you should quit it Creep on the ride and you know that he live it You know you a walking child call when he visit Now build up your spirit to die The kingdom of heaven is now Taking these scriptures again You gon'
gon' get hit with the fire. Better decide. Uh. Whether you gonna partake or not, there's really no debating. I can see that Satan's on you from a distance, claiming that you see visions. I'm telling you that's a delusion, which bring me back to my conclusion. They tell you that Christ is returning to burn up your liars, this cause of confusion. Huh. Israel, are you ready? Christ to come, I rehearse Judges 5:11. Keep laws and faith in Christ to get to heaven. Blessed by God are they that keep commandments. That's a 